everybody, Erica Serwin here from Pink Buckaroo Designs. I've got a beautiful card to show you today. It is a case of a swap card that I saw while I was on the Norway incentive trip, and it uses a window sheet to make this beautiful see-through window card. I'm using Beauty of the Deep um, stamps and dies. That's available in a bundle. And then I am using the um, Thank You So Much right here from the Layering Leaves stamp set. This card has a lot of pieces. Um, and so if you click the link here on YouTube and go back to my blog, you'll find all those pieces written down here. And as I've got the supply list and two other Beauty of the Deep cards, if you're looking for inspiration. All right, the first thing that we're gonna do is create our card base. This is a piece of Pretty Peacock cardstock that is cut at five and a half on the long side and then scored at four and a fourth. Now we want to cut off, let me get this scrap paper out of here. We wanna cut off a section of the front so that this measures just two inches. So I'm gonna take this and put it on my trimmer and put it right at the two inch mark and cut it, okay? Now I'm gonna take this remaining piece and I'm gonna put it right here at three fourths of an inch. We just need a sliver of this pretty peacock cardstock to go over on the right edge. Now, you also are gonna need a, a window sheet. A window sheets are available in our catalog. Um, we're gonna use this to go right here in just a minute. Now, this piece you can get rid of, you're not gonna need it. You are gonna need some grid paper or background paper. And there are three pieces of basic white that you need. This one goes on the front left flap. This tiny one is gonna go on that sliver, that three quarter inch sliver that we made. And then this piece is gonna go on the inside. Now we're gonna stamp all of our big pieces first. And we're gonna start with this sea plant, maybe seaweed, I'm not sure exactly what it is, but it's a long, tall sea plant. And I'm gonna stamp it in shaded spruce on the left side, whoops, the left side of that piece, maybe the right side of that piece, and then maybe inside our card as well. All right, now I'm gonna take Knight of Navy and our big um, fan coral and stamp that right there in the middle on this piece. I want it to show through that window. Um, okay, now let's take our berry burst and this stamp which is coral and it's very realistic looking it's really beautiful and i'm going to stamp it several times in berry burst i think we'll just kind of overlap these two pieces and do it like that we'll put a little bit let's do one right there and then maybe just a little bit of that right there all right and last i have um, a sea urchin. I'm going to take that little sea urchin and stamp it there and maybe here and down here. Okay. Now we're going to ink these um, pieces so that they look like they are water. They're going to be um, pretty peacock to match our card base. And I am using a blending brush and I don't want it to be real dark. So I'm gonna get the ink on my brush and I'm gonna run it off over here first. And then I'm just gonna lightly start going down my piece. Okay. And you may not even need to re-ink it yet. Let's see how it looks. There we go, down that piece and then down the front left piece. Very good. All right, before you close up that ink, um, we're gonna use these little bubbles and I'm gonna put them wherever I think I'm gonna put my fish. So I'm gonna stamp once and stamp again. I'm gonna put them in other places, not just where my fish is, but I'm gonna put them around like this. Let's go like that. And we'll put some here and some up here. And you can even just kind of randomly sprinkle them throughout 
because we know there's bubbles all over the ocean. Okay, now bring back your pieces and let's get rid of this grid paper. I'm gonna do that big piece on the inside right here. And the second largest piece is gonna go right here. And that third piece, we're gonna put right down the center of our three quarters of an inch slice of Pretty Peacock. Now you can do this any way you want. You know, you can get lots of different looks here from this, um, you know, this stamp set, creating different ocean scenes and different colors. Now I've put adhesive down the right side of my window sheet and I'm gonna adhere my sliver of cardstock. And then I'm gonna set this right here so that it matches the edge of my card. I'm gonna put adhesive on this side. I wanna make sure it's evenly lined up over here with this edge and then fold it over and pick up that, that window sheet. And there you go, that's the basic mechanics for your card. All right, so now we need some decorations. I have used the dies to cut out a navy shimmer paper coral a shaded spruce cardstock coral and another little tiny shimmer paper um, coral. All right, we're gonna stamp our two fish in uh, Pretty Peacock first, and then we'll do Flirty Flamingo second, like that. All right, and these have matching dies, so that'll make it nice and easy to cut these out. You're gonna want to make sure that you line them up really well, like that, and look through those holes. You'll be able to see the pink of the top of our angelfish. And then this little one can go right there. And one more time. All right, let's put our card together. Um, I have also cut out a, a nested shape, basic white, and I'm gonna stamp our sentiment, thank you so much, in berry burst right in the middle. Now, of course, change the sentiment if you would like. You can make this an any kind of card, any occasion will work. Now, I'm gonna get my liquid glue and I'm just gonna put some tiny dots on our coral. And I'm gonna set it here. I want it to kind of overlap that window. All right, and then I'm gonna get my dimensionals and stick our sentiment also overlapping like that. And then I can stick these down below it. This one can go about right there. And then maybe we'll put this one over here like that. And then our fish, we're gonna give them dimensionals. We're gonna pop them up. So we've got one angelfish here with those bubbles. 
Let's put her up a little bit higher like that. And then we'll do the other little fish right here. All right, and then open it up and we'll stick these down on the inside. I'm gonna do it kind of opposite. I'm gonna put the angel fish over here and put the other, I don't know what this other fish is called. Put him right there. All right, now a few other things. Let's see, we need to make that a little bit like that. There we go, that's better. Now, a couple of embellishments. I have gotten some of our um, Moody Mauve jute trim, and I'm gonna untwist it. Just If you just start untwisting the end, it becomes pretty easy to pull these fibers out of here. And I'm gonna pull one out and tie a bow. I like how it's kind of curly. Like, you know, when you take a braid out of your hair, it kind of leaves that curl. That's how I wanted that to look. And we're gonna get a mini dimension, I mean, a mini glue dot. And I'll grab my take your pick tool. And I tucked mine in on the other one, but I think this one I'm just gonna put right there. And then last but not least, we'll put a few of these sequins the clear colored ones or the white, they'll look like bubbles. And you can put them all over. Just add some interest to your card. All right, and there we have it, you guys. I hope you like this project. Remember, there is a free PDF over on my blog with two other Beauty of the Deep cards. If you'd like to check them out, click the link here on YouTube and have fun stamping. Thanks, everybody. Bye-bye.